Hey everybody, Maddie here with Backwoods Mindset. Today we're gonna install some LED lights in the Fishmobile. So I was trying to figure out what to do um, for lights in here. Now there are some lights, I'll show you here. They're in the corner, but my idea is if I have the cot in the center, it's gonna block some of that light. It's not gonna have light from the top. So I bought these eight foot LED light strips that stick on their USB powered. I'm gonna show you how my idea for that, um, how I'm gonna do that. But we're gonna get these put up here and hopefully this brings some extra light makes it it might make it look cool in here too because it's color changing it's got a remote control got all sorts of stuff but we're going to go ahead we're going to get this um box opened up i do know we need to clean up here with rubbing alcohol because it's uh they stick on so we want to make sure that it does stick on well to the surface of the inside of the box but we're going to get these lights on here and uh hopefully this works out good so let's see what we got here opening the box up i got these at five below um and they were like exactly five bucks a piece and i think you can, yeah you can okay so these we'll have to see lengthwise i should have measured this out but you can actually connect them together you can daisy chain them so there is a connector comes in a nice little sealed bag all rolled up i just the one thing i've been trying to figure out is is where i'm going to put the power supply that i'm going to use for this let's see here got the back got the remote here's a little remote on off different colors whatnot Maybe I should measure this out first. You big dummy! I think it's six six. I don't know if it will meet in the middle. It might meet in the middle. We're gonna have to find out here, I guess. Okay, so I hope you can see all right. But first off, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the rubbing alcohol and the rag, and we're gonna wipe this surface down and get it cleaned off so there isn't dust and dirt on the side, so that the sticky stuff can stick on there good. Nice and cleaned up. Get a little bit more for this side. Don't need much. let that dry up too so I figured out how I'm gonna run it I still have to let this dry up a little bit um, get the rubbing alcohol on there but there's a flat spot up here and I'll show you what I'm gonna be using after I put them up but there's an area up here where I can actually put the uh, power bank that I'm using to power these light strips. And I hope that it lasts long enough and I hope that it works well enough. Worst case scenario, I do always have my Jackery. I would just need to, need to figure out how. I know they sell extenders uh, that you can add on. I guess I could always get one of those, but we're gonna, we're gonna get this hooked up here and we're going to find out. But I think I know how I'm doing this. So it is a little bit of a tight space in here. You can see I'm in the back. There's the front of me. I can touch from one side to the other. So it's going to be a little goofy uh, recording in here. I'm going to try to do my best. Not exactly sure how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to do my best. I think I'm going to get part of it kind of started up here. And I'll have the camera down here. And then we'll run it along and I'll, I'll show you how I'm doing it. And then hopefully 
everything works out the way that I'm thinking it's going to. So it's just peel and stick on the back here and I'm gonna get this little section here. I'm just gonna pull a little bit back so that I can get this kind of put up here. I'm gonna go right below. Right below the screws that are in it. And just kind of get it up. You can see, I don't even know if you can see because it's white and it's a white strip going up. Oh, almost dropped my camera, but it's right there going along. It's white, so it matches pretty good, but let's get this put up. Well, hopefully this works. So what I did was I flipped it around. I put it in the back corner and I'm hoping I don't sound too weird in the, I know I sound weird most of the time, but you know what I mean. So we got this. Closer here. So we got one section done here, running along there, and then I brought it down here. Some, hopefully this puts some good light in here for me. We'll find out, still got one side to do. Let's get it done. And give you a little area to peel the tape back and we're gonna get this one started. So I got them up here, going down. It's good enough. These are cheap. Like I said, they're like five bucks a piece. I just want to get some light up there. You can barely tell because it's white on white. There's some scratches and stuff on the system. I don't care. Let me camp it back here. Just want to get some light. Here are those other two lights that I was telling you about. They're just kind of low though. So. I'm going to give these a shot. Um, it is starting to get a little bit darker outside. I got the light on on my GoPro here. I had to get the lights in here so I could see what I was doing. But I'm going to get the battery banks. We're going to get them hooked up. And once it's dark here, we're going to light this up and we're going to see what it looks like. Hey everybody. So we got it all done. Like I said, I was going to do a reveal here in the dark. I actually picked Mrs. Backwoods up from work and we're going to show you what the lights look like in the back of the camper and I'll let you know what I think. So the lights worked out great. I really like the way they are. I didn't get them perfectly straight. I'm not too overly like worried about it. Um, it's good enough. It lights up the whole area. Now I do have, um, the two little battery banks that I used. I could tell they aren't going to last real long on that. Now I do have the Jackery and they do sell USB extension cords. So I can do that. Um, and I can get, you know, some more time out of it because the Jackery, those will probably run, run pretty long on the Jackery. Um, I'd kind of like to get another Jackery is my thinking. So I want to get something to cool it down in the inside. So I need like an air conditioner for the inside. I need a heater I'd like to get. And I'd like to do like another power bank, like a Jackery just for the lights in there. You know, it's nighttime. I don't know how much I'm actually going to need lights, probably just here and there. There's other things I can do too. But I did notice that I got... I'm trying to think. If I could break it down 
10% of the battery was gone in about 15 minutes. So, you probably get a couple hours out of it. So maybe it would be okay um, with the little battery banks. But um, I'd still like to have another one because I have the smaller Jackery, which is great. I love it. It works perfect. I use that for my live streams um, when I've been um, out in the woods. I use I use it for everything. So I am thinking about getting a second one. It might be nice to have one um, to have it like piggyback off of or whatever. But we'll we'll uh, we'll figure it out here. We're gonna get it going. So hopefully. I can, I got some side work I'm going to be doing. Hopefully I can make some extra money and get some of this other stuff that I want to get uh, for the inside of the truck. But just having it able to be lit up like that on the inside is a big plus. Now it's just like comfortability uh, type stuff. I guess it's kind of going to be like glamping in the back. But <clears throat> I, uh, that's that's what I want to do. That's what I wanted to do with this. So I'm really excited about it. So all that you have to do now is stay tuned because we're going to put some stickers on the buckets. So we're going to put two stickers on today too. Um, been doing this every day with the new videos. Last week was um, Pure Oki, Three Mississippi, Fallen Arkansas Veterans, and Cold Beer Ranch. And this week we got two more we're adding on. But first... The first sticker is a vinyl. I am going to wipe down the outside of the bucket here. It's a little bit bigger. So I think I'm going to go for this, this wide open spot right here on the bucket. I'll show you right there on the bucket. Wide open. We're going to wipe it down with some rubbing alcohol because I already got it out. So now that my garage smells like a hospital, I got the area all cleaned off. And we're going to be putting on full-blown country sticker, which is a vinyl, so it's hard to see. You won't be able to really see it. Till it's on the bucket let's get this peeled off here i think i remember how to do these you peel off this side and then you find the bucket where you want to put it and you put it down like that and you rub it down or you use like a squeegee um i used to work at a body shop and i had to do lots of these some people will uh We'll take um, and kind of like split it down the middle and do it. But let's see what happens here. This is a nice, nice quality sticker here going on already. Wow. Bam. Like I thought. Perfect. I never lost it. And there we go. Got full-blown country sticker right there on smooth as butter. And then we got the next sticker to put on. <clears throat> now, this is uh, one of my buddies that I fish with, do some stuff. He sent me this sticker, and it's got this goofy-looking maple leaf on it with an American flag. But we're going to slap that on there. There's Aaron's sticker. I've never seen anybody do an American flag on a, on a maple leaf before, but we're going to go ahead... Um, and we're gonna get this put on the bucket too. I think we're gonna do it, do it right up, do it right up in this area, right up there. All right, so I got it. Get this up in the air run outdoors maple leaf sticker put on here. Put it right here. Line it up. Rub it down. And we got it on there. So we got our two on for this week so we now have six stickers we still got a lot more to put on here but i want to thank full blown country I want to thank up in the air and outdoors for sending over the stickers uh, means a lot to me that you guys have given me stickers or sent them to me or however i have received them um, i really do appreciate it but this is what i got um, for this week i hope you guys enjoyed it hope that you guys like the way the lights looked in the inside of my fishing mobile camper that I'm whipping together and just kind of doing it kind of willy-nilly, but I got lots of ideas. There's so much stuff I want to do. Um, I'm still trying to figure out an uh, air conditioner. I was talking to somebody about one, but I'm trying to figure out what to do. I just don't have the money 
to put towards and I'm trying to like get the channel going again so I can get some money and then I could uh, could do some more some more stuff with the truck uh, for fishing to make it more comfortable but um, I really don't want to do a camping trip at least when I know the weather is going to be warmer um, until I have it in there and we've actually been in the 80s the last couple days which I know it's not going to stay because it's Cleveland but <clears throat> we have been in the 80s and fishing's happening I went with Frank last Saturday you guys might have come over and seen that on the live uh, we didn't catch anything unfortunately the water was still really cold wondered if the catfish were sluggish that's a theory but I do have a lot of stuff coming up um, got a bluegill fish off this Saturday I'm gonna be doing so you're gonna want to pay attention to that that's gonna be this Saturday afternoon got some other stuff going on but got a lot of stuff I need to get done but I'm gonna get going here um, like subscribe Hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. We'll see you in the next one. Slime on, everybody. I love you, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.